Can you, uh, first of all, talk a little bit about uh, your lineup here this evening? Yeah, we'll go 12-6. Uh, and six. Uh, We'll have Harper uh, doing a warm-up, uh, and we'll bring uh, Paul in. What did you see from Nick when uh, he played last? Oh, he's a big body. Uh, I thought he was very intense. Uh, he's uh, the last three games he played in the American League. He's, he's uh, definitely the guy who deserved it to come up. Um, and I thought he was in the right places. So I think he, I really, I actually liked his game. So um, I pulled him out not because I didn't like his game, just because we wanted the more defensemen in the lineup. And today it's the opposite. I think we went 11-7 uh, yesterday. It's a back-to-back, -back, and so at some points of the game I was using 10 forwards. So we need to be able to breathe a little bit. More more with the forwards, so we're going with 12. What has been your message to the, the group here today following last yesterday's loss? Well, we're Nick, we're playing the Rangers. <laughs> we're not playing the Rangers and Arizona today. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, in this business, if you can't move on to the next day, you can't be in this business. Uh, first of all, we think that we, uh, we did enough stuff yesterday to win the game, absolutely. It slipped away at the end, but there's not much we can do about the first goal where it wasn't a defending thing. It was our stick breaks, ends up on their stick. They're trying to clear it down the end, and Eric taps it, and it ends up riding a guy's stick for a breakaway. So I don't think we got to correct anything there. And the last one is Kondo did the right thing, but just his stick went over the, the puck. So, you know, at that point, it's it's two goals that there's not much to do about it. Uh, you know, Caldo, Caldo will be the first one to tell you the goal in overtime that, you know, it was his and he should have had it. But that's that's not where the game has to be looked at. We look at the game before that, and it could have been 3-1 and 4-1, but it wasn't. And we looked at how we could have uh, made it happen today. Uh, but we didn't give we didn't get very much yesterday to an opponent that's had points in three of the last five games because they're in a team that's improving. And it just goes back to what we always say. You have to respect every single team because every single team can beat you on any night. And we move on to today. We got our point yesterday. And, you know, if we look at the big picture, how many points did we have last year at this time of the year? You don't know, right? I didn't know either. I haven't quite done that no. homework, yeah. but I've, I'm ready yeah. for it on the broadcast. Would you, would you agree? Would you agree we had a pretty good season last year? I would. Uh, it was a surprise, yeah. right? Do you want to hold the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to. I'll switch. Yeah. Well, last year we had 21 points at this time of the year after 18 games, and we have 22. So if you have one more point a month until the end of the year, that's a lot. That's over 100 points. That's a lot of points, and we're, we know that we're not. We're not a team that's going to go from where we were last year to all of a sudden dominate. No, no, we know what we are. We're a team that works hard, uh, stays together, uh, goes through adversity, builds, grows, and, you know, <coughs> almost nobody puts us in the playoffs. And, again, we're still there and we're fighting in there, and that's what we enjoy. We enjoy that opportunity. Uh, like today, to come here in a great uh, environment to play hockey and continue to grow. And that uh, was our focus last year, and that's 100% our focus this year. And every time you get away from that, you're in the frustration part of things, and that's where you get lost. And that's why we didn't get lost last year, and that's why we're not getting lost now. And we move on to with everything we've done well and the few things that we want to improve for today. In the last two games, how have you felt Ryan and Matt Duchesne are starting to jump? They were outstanding both games and it's just a matter of results so are you going to focus on the two percent that is the finishing part or are you going to focus on the 98 percent of the game where they look outstanding together and that's the message to them too it's it's uh, bobby comes in hasn't played in a month mm -hmm. duchene comes in new team so this is time, it's, you need time. And right now the process is going way faster than I thought it would go, to be honest with you. So that's where it's very encouraging to see them two together. Uh, we've seen them with uh, Zingle, a bit with Hoff, and now today I'll try them with Pyatt a little bit. Uh, and just slowly figure out you know, what's the best for, uh, for those two. But clearly those two together have, have really, really clicked. I mean, they could have had three, four points the night before in the same last game. So I think right now it's, it's a question of being patient with the result and understanding that the process is going really well for them too. Who do you lose with Stone and Brassard? Uh, start, I'll start Jingle for now. Yeah. But, you know, that, that in the game, power plays, PKs, uh, different moments of the game, it changes. I spot Hoffman up there. Also, but I, I try to spread uh, our wealth a little bit. Uh, I think we're a stronger team when Hoffman plays with Pedro and whoever. 
and in the absence of Smith, which is a top six forward, obviously, you know, or, or some guys are going in and out, and uh, uh, it gives the opportunity for some other guys to uh, to be able to play.